Earlier this year, streaming giant Netflix finally included the iconic Nickelodeon teen series iCarly in their list. As you remember, the internet was just starting to widen its audience and capabilities during those years, and many teenagers were just starting to explore the web as well. This inclusion of iCarly on Netflix was really good timing for fans to have the opportunity to rewatch it before the reboot starts. Paramount Plus, a new streaming service, announced that they will be showcasing a reboot of the Nickelodeon series as one of their main shows to launch. However, because of a few changes in the series, a lot of fans are craving for more details about the upcoming reboot. It was announced earlier that the reboot would retain its original pool of main characters and the stars that play them. The confirmed characters who will reprise their roles include Nathan Kress, playing Freddie Benson, Miranda Cosgrove, playing Carly Shea, and Jerry Trainer playing Spencer Shea. You might remember that before iCarly, the three had all been cast in the Nickelodeon show Drake and Josh. And that's just one similarity they had since they were little kids up until now. And it is also a good thing to note that these stars have been working together since they were kids, and having them all back together again in one reunion series is just beyond imaginable. Well, Jeanette McCurdy, who plays Sam Puckett, has expressed her feelings about acting and therefore somehow confirmed that she is not joining the upcoming iCarly reboot, she has been active in other aspects of her life since iCarly's last episode. The same goes for Miranda Cosgrove and Nathan Kress. And if you haven't watched our videos about what Miranda and Nathan have been up to leading to the upcoming reboot, then feel free to watch it on our channel. So Jerry Trainer, aka Spencer Shea, is a big name in the iCarly series. If you remember, he is Carly's older brother and legal guardian, a professional artist who is known for being clumsy and childish. He grew up in Seattle, and because his father is in the military and is stationed in the Navy submarine, he became his sister's legal guardian. He attended law school, but just after 72 hours, he dropped out and pursued becoming an artist. However, he never opened up about this to his father until this series' last episode entitled, I Goodbye. There was even an episode in the web show where he talked to his father and lied to him about law school, saying it's going great. Spencer is eccentric, fun, and randomly weird in some ways, but he is not easily fooled. He even said himself, I may be an idiot, but I'm not stupid. He is often portrayed as immature, but when it comes to protecting his little sister Carly, he is definitely strict, and this shows in two episodes where he grounded Carly twice. Despite his eccentric yet funny facade, Spencer is deeply reasonable. He wouldn't have been able to raise Carly well if he wasn't. He even kept Carly's asthma inhaler even though she hadn't used it since she was seven, just in case she'd need it again. In the I Look Alike episode, Spencer would not let Carly attend the MMA fight because he said he's seen those fights get really rough and that it's not a place for kids. He also said Carly was grounded for two weeks because she snuck out to see the fight. Just an epitome of an overprotective brother. Their brother-sister relationship is very important to the show in many different ways. Despite all the weirdness, Spencer is quite a ladies' man, and he even dated over 10 women in the series. So, after the success of the hit teen series iCarly, what do you think Jerry Trainer has been up to during the long 10-year wait before the reboot? Let's find out in this video. But before everything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell for more updates on the iCarly reboot. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Nick Shows after iCarly ended its splendor, Jerry continued on his journey as a rising Nickelodeon artist. He started going on with his acting career when he starred in Nick at Night's TV show Wendell and Vinny as the main character Vinny. It is an American sitcom that aired on Nickelodeon from February of 2013 to September of the same year. So yeah, it didn't last that long. He played a guy who runs a pop culture memorabilia business and is fond of video games, comic books, and eating junk food. He starred with Buddy Handelson, who played Wendell. Unfortunately, this series did not follow in iCarly's footsteps in terms of success, as it was cancelled after just one season. However, he did not let his career fall into the ashes because of this, and continued working with Nickelodeon. He guest starred in the spin-off series of iCarly and Victorious, Sam and Cat, which aired after the success of the two Nickelodeon series, which are also both created by the same person, Dan Schneider. Like Nathan Kress, he appeared in two episodes in Sam and Cat, one as Crazy Steve, his role in Drake and Josh, and one as himself. 
However, before the airing of the series, he had also guest starred in Victorious as an audience member in one episode and as Spencer Shea in another. Aside from this, he has also starred in other Nickelodeon series, some of them having aired just two to three years ago, a clear indication that his iCarly heart is still there after all those years. He starred in an episode in Henry Danger, another Nickelodeon Dan Schneider series, which also happened to be directed by his iCarly co-star, Nathan Crass. Aside from his roles in Nickelodeon, he has also ventured his talent on other networks, including Two Broke Girls, a huge TV sitcom hit produced by Warner Brothers. He guest starred as Lennon in one of the episodes. He also appeared on another sitcom called Still the King, aired on CMT. He appeared on three episodes before the show was cancelled after two seasons. He also explored his talent beyond comedy series and American sitcoms when he appeared on one episode of Law & Order True Crime, an American true crime anthology series where he played Will Clanton. After this, in 2019 to 2020, he had recurring roles in No Good Nick, an American comedy drama series on Netflix, and Apocalypse Goals, an apocalyptic surreal comedy series. Then again in 2020, right before iCarly was announced for a reboot, Jerry played the role of Dave in Bunked, a Disney Channel comedy TV series. Number 2. Voice Acting During the 10-year period when Jerry was appearing here and there on television series and sitcoms, he also continued on his voice acting career. He started his voice acting career in 2010 when he voiced the role of Eddie the Cockroach in an episode of The Penguins of Madagascar. Then, right after that, he immediately landed the main voice role of Dudley Puppy in Nickelodeon's animated series Tough Puppy, which revolves around the story of a dog and an undercover fighting force organization that protects Petropolis from crimes. This was kind of a big deal for Jerry's career as it ran from 2010 to 2015 with three seasons. This is also the third animated series from Butch Hartman for Nickelodeon after his first two creations, The Fairly Odd Parents and Danny Phantom, which were both classic hits during the 2000s. After this role, he continued on his voice acting career, taking roles in Doc McStuffins, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, The Adventures of Kid Ranger, and an upcoming Nickelodeon animated series, The Loud House. Number 3. Band Involvement in October 2015, Jerry Trainer formed a band called Nice Enough People. He played bass for the group, and they released their first EP, Hanover Hideaway, in 2016. The band was led by guitarist-slash-vocalist Mike O'Gorman and included drummer Andrew Zuber, and the best part, Jerry had Allison Scagliotti as his guitarist as well, one of his co-stars in his previous show Drake and Josh. Allison played the character Mindy Crenshaw. Jerry Trainer certainly had a nice and colorful life in the entertainment industry after iCarly ended. From acting on TV and film, to voice acting, to creating a band of his own, his career has obviously been a good one thanks to Nickelodeon. After the iCarly reboot announcement, it looks like we will be seeing a lot more of Spencer Shea, and fans cannot contain their happiness and excitement. So what do you think about this? Are you happy about Jerry's comeback? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.